Hi everyone. So in this vid, we're going to take a look at uh, live painting dynamic objects onto a surface. So if you want to make a pile of rocks or bones or crates or whatever you want to do, uh, this is just a cool way to go about it. Um, so let's grab a load of polyphotonics, make a mesh network, and then I'm going to set zero points. Now um, I am going to add a place node. And then if I just hit add and then drag around, I'm painting objects onto a mesh. By default, mesh will collide with any mesh that you click on. Let's just hit undo. Um, so I want to change a few settings. So first of all, I want to have a random ID between zero and say mm, four, because if I look on the instancer, I have IDs from zero to four, so I want any of those objects. Now if I hit add and paint, I get any one of those objects. So uh, hit undo twice to get rid of those. Uh, next, I want to um, have random rotations, so say 360, 360, 360. I'm going to take uh, off um, the rotation mode aligned to mesh and then turn on push up normal, say 10. So now when I paint, see that the objects are hovering above the mesh. This is great because I want them to dynamically drop onto the mesh. So uh, that's perfect. And for this to work, you need rotation mode off. Well, this to work with dynamics, you need rotation mode off. So maybe we want them a bit higher, so they drop a bit further. Okay, cool. Done. Uh, oh, no, not done. <laughs> random scale. Let's have a bit of a random scale going on. So say 0 0.5 to 3. So if I paint now, you get this. Cool. Okay, so done. Um, now if we go and add dynamics to this, we'll turn up the friction and maybe the mass a little bit. And then uh, I will go into the place node. I'll give ourselves some more frames. And then we'll hit interactive playback, hit add, and then just start painting. So every time you click, you'll get mash objects added. <laughs> and I've forgotten to add the plane as a collider. What a moron. So let's just go into the bullet solver, drag the plane in as a collider object, and then uh, interactive playback, add. And then if we uh, click play, we get this. So every time you click, you get. Um, some uh, dynamic objects so we can just do lots at once if you want and uh, or just click a couple of times to get some individual ones and very quickly you can make parts of stuff and then if you're happy with your pile of stuff that you have made uh, you then just go into the dynamics node and set initial state um, and you're done so that's kind of like how you interactively paint objects which is just Pretty good fun. Okay, so say you have done this um, and you're happy with it and you've done uh, set your initial state and you can walk away and you're fine. However, if you don't like what you've done and you want to start again uh, and you hit rewind, you'll notice that all of your objects fly up to the top here. And this is because um, you have painted them onto the surface and they haven't become dynamic yet. So if you hit play, they'll just fall down again. Uh, but say you've moved on and you want to undo all of this painting, but you... Um, uh, have run out of undos or you've like opened the scene or whatever that kind of thing and um, without selling your initial state basically you just want to start again on the placer here's a little snippet of a mel for you to uh, erase all of your painting so rather than um, deleting rather than deleting all of your points uh, which can be laborious so if I hit delete here um, and actually because the brush radius is so small I'm not getting anything uh, but I can just delete these kind of like uh, by painting on the underlying mesh and that's fine uh, but if you want to get rid of them all at once here is a handy piece of bell so you just um, paste this in um, it is set atta which means set attribute um, mash one placer which is the name of this node mash one placer node um, and then the attribute that you're setting is the uh, paint json and then you need to set a attribute type which is string because it's a complex type and then you need and this is very important uh, curly brackets so you've got curly brackets not square brackets curly brackets hit enter and then they're all gone. And then you can paint more again. So there you go. Oop, that brush size is massive. So you can, and then you can just paint more. So then if you want to get rid of them all, you can just do that uh, rather than just deleting them one by one. It's just a little shortcut for you. So um, that is basically the uh, trick to, um, if I go into to playback, um, that is the trick to um, uh, painting dynamic objects. Um, just, yeah, when you're finished, remember to go onto the dynamics node and hit um, the plus on initial state, and then that will set this as your initial state. Uh, but that means you can no longer paint because there is now an initial state which kind of blocks everything going into the dynamics node. So just be aware of that, that once you've done, you're done. So uh, yeah, um, but that is, um, that's how you kind of interactively paint um, objects in MASH. Pretty fun.